feel gym enthusiast friendly, much more casual atmosphere. Because if you remember, they're not, a, not gym. a gym, they're Planet, Planet Fitness. Fitness. Hey, I'm Large Kofi, but you can call me Morgan Freeman Jr. And in my last video about Planet Fitness, I discussed the stigma associated with the club and some of the factors that contributed to that stigma. I analyze in detail why Planet Fitness is so appealing to the general public as a first gym option, but also why their vague lunk rules only serve to alienate and even turn off people who I would consider gym enthusiasts. So if you haven't watched that video yet, I highly encourage you to click the link somewhere up here and uh, watch that video first for some important context. Now the goal of this part two was to analyze whether or not Planet Fitness would give us a hard time getting in because that's just what I've heard from a lot of people and I wanted to validate that for myself. Also, we didn't set out to actually get a full workout in. We just wanted to get a feel for the environment and get some first impressions. The full workouts can be for the next video. The goal of this series is objectivity and ultimately we want to determine whether or not Planet Fitness still deserves that stigma that it got years ago or if it's a bit exaggerated. In a minute, I'll be playing the footage that we were able to get and also interjecting with some context and details that we couldn't get with any audio. So enjoy the video and I'll see you in the end. All right, so we're just gonna be looking to see, we're not gonna be looking to get kicked out. Um, we're just gonna be looking to see if they'll let us in. As you can see, I'm just wearing what I would normally wear, my normal attire for any gym workout, um, any gym session. This is what I would normally wear. So let's find out. My first time at Planet Fitness, so I'm very excited. <laughs> Damn, we're really going to planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, lean lane, you're asking. <laughs> the judgment freezer. Hey, <laughs> okay. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Um, so I've never been here before. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Um, would we be, we be able to work out for the day? Uh, yes, so do you have a membership? No. Okay. So you have to get a day pass? Okay. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but I'm to, okay. Uh, go on planetfitness.com. You're gonna look up this club. And you're gonna go to the club page. When you do that, scroll all the way to the bottom, and it should say request a free payment. Okay. All right. So go right over here. And you can go okay. Thank you. No so we gotta request the day pass. So we're gonna we're gonna do that right now. So just in case you guys didn't hear what she said, um, we had to request a day pass through their website. Uh, she said she wasn't supposed to tell me that. I don't know why, but yeah, we just sat down and requested some day passes. Like Kofi Kingston, we'll go with two apps. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be Russell Orhi today. Okay, so the reason why I said I'll be Russell Orhi for the day is because, in a very smooth brain manner, not my brightest moment, I forgot that. The staff has to check your ID when you sign up for a day pass. So uh, I put Russ Swole's name in there. His name is Russell Orhi, if you didn't know. Um, the staff didn't really care. I don't think they know who Russell Orhi is, but um, they thought it was kind of funny that the name in the system didn't match what was on my ID. Um, they just took my ID and cleared it up. They figured that it was a barcode mix up. I guess that actually happens quite often. Okay, now at this point, everything's going pretty smooth. Um, they're checking us in, no problem. If you notice, I put my gallon water bottle on the counter because I was expecting them to say something or wondering if they'd say something um, regarding their water bottle rules and things like that, but they didn't say anything at all. And so I actually asked the gentleman at the front desk what their water bottle policy was, and it's actually pretty simple, specifically for that club at least. They uh, allow gallon water bottles. They just can't be the twist off tops that you would get at Stop and Shop because if those were to fall, they'd spill pretty easily. So. That makes sense. So at this point, I'm asking about specific policies because they were just gonna let us work out without saying anything. And I wanted to make sure and kind of validate what their policies were. Um, so it was almost kind of like he forgot to, to mention it, but I asked him and that's when he told me that there were no gym bags allowed on the gym floor, no accessories whatsoever, like no accessories at all. Um, no hoodies on the treadmills. I asked why, and he said it was because of drawstrings. People can trip over them and fall. I don't know what hoodie drawstring is long enough to hit your feet, but I have to assume that there's a reason why they have that rule. Maybe somebody tripped over the drawstring of the hoodie. I really don't know. Besides Dark Sport, I don't know another brand that makes ridiculously long drawstrings that are long enough for you to trip over. And even still, their drawstrings aren't that long. 
So that's an interesting policy. But we went about our workout and uh, got in pretty easily. So the policies are uh, we can't. We, we can have these, okay? They just can't be the twist off ones that you get from like Stop and Shop because those can spill easily. So you can have gallon water bottles, but they have to have tops like this that can like secure. Um, no hoodies on treadmills or anything like that. We cannot bring our gym bag, so. <laughs> no belt, no knee sleeves, no wrist wraps. Oh, how am I gonna work out with my, bro, I can't even my phone. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what kind of workout. You about to get cold, but real cold. <laughs> It's just going to be yoga and I don't know. Um, so no bags at all. That kind of sucks. No accessories either. So I was like thinking about like walking in with my belt, knee sleeves and all that stuff. They said no accessories at all. Um, unless it's like a jump rope. So I'm about to just raw dog this workout. Um, but yeah, so far super clean. Staff was super friendly. Uh, I'm definitely feeling the judgment free atmosphere. So in terms of equipment, they kind of have a little bit of everything. Um, we got the like stuff over here. I've seen this basically everywhere. Um, abductor, adductor. So they have multiple abductor and adductor machines, which is pretty dope because um, a lot of the gyms I've seen only have like one of each. So props to them for that. You got the glute machine. So this seems to be kind of like the leg area. Um, no squat rack or anything like that. Um, I don't see a Smith. They do have Smith machines. We saw that a little bit later. But um, yeah, all in all, pretty, a pretty small gym. Not a lot to it, but they seem to have most of the essentials. In a pretty small weight area. The dumbbells go up to 75 pounds. So in terms of like dumbbell movements, uh, I don't know what I'm about to do with 75 pounds, but. <laughs> now this statement wasn't meant to be taken literally. I wasn't alluding to the idea that I can't do literally anything with 25 pounds because of course I can. I was just alluding to the fact that at this point in my fitness journey, 75 pounds is just a bit light in terms of tension for most of my movements, including leg movements, even as a warm up. Now, of course, you can make 75 pounds feel like 100 pounds, but that doesn't change the fact that it is still 75 pounds. And I don't know how many goddamn pause reps I'd have to do before I just get bored. <laughs> yeah, you get a decent warm up with 75 pounds. Now, the heaviest preset barbell that they had over there was 60 pounds. That was just about the heaviest. Um, so in terms of free weight, all they had were just dumbbells and those free bars that you see me curling. And in case you didn't notice, that was just a little too light for me. Um, I barely broke a sweat. That was kind of butter, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm trying to figure out how we can make those a little bit heavier. I might have to go mess with those dumbbells over there. <laughs> Man's is about to send that shit to the stratosphere. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go. Now, I know early in the video I said that we weren't actually trying to get a full workout, which we weren't, but I felt obligated to do a couple movements just so the staff didn't think I was in there fucking around. That would have made it a lot easier for them to kick us out if they just see us walking around, you know, recording stuff. So it only made sense being in a gym that I actually at least try to do something. So at this point, I'm just walking around the club, kind of looking at all the different sections that they had. They had a PT section. They had like a whole section strictly for our abdominals. Um, these little kind of empty corners with like three to four machines in them. It was kind of interesting to see, but, um, yeah, I decided to go in there and mess with some of those. So, so far, this honestly does feel like a judgment free zone. Like this feels like a judgment free experience. Everyone here is pretty kind of chill, lax. Nobody's really pushing it hard, which is fine, but I, it doesn't really feel gym enthusiast friendly, much more casual atmosphere, because if you remember, they're not, a, not gym. a gym, they're Planet, Planet Fitness. Fitness. Let's get these abs in real quick. Okay, you guys, so in my second not so proud smooth brain moment of the day, I had no idea how to work this machine. It looked like a neutral grip chest press, but it said abdominals, so I got pretty confused. I had never seen a machine like that. It took me a little figure, as you can see, your boy is struggling. 
So I push it forward and I'm like, oh, okay, what, what are we supposed to do? Me and Adam are both kind of struggling trying to figure this out. <laughs> Never seen it before. As you can see, I'm confused. I'm like, it says a dominoes, but it looks like a chest press. Now I'm over here looking like a confused squirrel that just lost an acorn, trying to find it, figure it out. Adam's like, oh, fix that. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Adjust the seat. That was not the issue. <laughs> the seat was not the issue. Um, as you'll see in a little bit, we were supposed to lean back to do like a crunching motion. And I'm like, oh, this is when I figure it out. Yeah, complete revelation for me. Maybe what they say about lungs is true. Max it out? We're about to max it out. Oh, we're about to max it out. Oh, that's heavy. Never using this again. Nope, I'm all set with that. I'm not gonna cap, I'm lying here. That machine was kind of fun. 10 out of 10 would use again. So, first impression of this location, pretty friendly, pretty clean. I felt very welcomed. I didn't feel judged at all. What I also did feel that I failed to mention here was tired. I walked in there and I just got nursing home vibes. Like, yes, it was nice, it was clean. I did feel the judgment free environment, but I also felt a very super tired environment. I was not motivated to work out at all. Quite frankly, I was a little more motivated for my afternoon nap. But to get a better and more objective view, we, we gotta go hit up another one. Another one. Another one. Location. About to see the consistency of the judgment free experience at Planet Fitness. Here we go. Enjoy your workouts today. Thank you. In my third smooth brain moment of the day, I foolishly forgot to record the interaction between us and the manager. I didn't put my phone out because I didn't think it would be as interesting. The last one wasn't interesting, so I just figured this one would be pretty basic. But she did say something that I wish I got on camera, and that was that this was the best gym in the entire state. Now, if we're talking about attracting new members who are just starting their fitness journeys, I could definitely see that because this gym was a lot more aesthetically pleasing than the last one. First impression so far, this is definitely significantly nicer than the other one. Definitely a lot cleaner, a lot bigger. The lady at the front desk did say that this is the best gym in Massachusetts. Very adamant about, Very adamant about this being the best gym in Massachusetts. It looks nice, it's clean. I saw a lot of people in here. Um, the environment is a little bit different than the last one we went into. Um, I saw a little more sweating. It wasn't as casual, so we'll have to validate that best gym in Massachusetts uh, proclamation. Now, I definitely got less nursing home vibes from this club. I was definitely motivated to do something, whereas at the last one, I wasn't really motivated to do much based on the environment. But maybe that's just a product of me having evolved to a certain point in my fitness journey where I need a certain environment to really get motivated. Now, from the perspective of somebody who's just starting out, the environment of the first gym would be perfectly fine but they'd probably be looking for the environment of the second club that we went to as they start to progress motivation-wise. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned the aesthetics of the gym, which is definitely something that they pay attention to because look at these bathrooms. I wanted to sleep in these bathrooms. I wanted to move into these bathrooms and raise a family. These bathrooms were definitely on point, definitely one of the nicer bathrooms that I've ever seen in a gym. Uh, would it be enough for me to leave my current gym to sign up there? Absolutely not, but for somebody who's just thinking about signing up there, that would definitely be something that would draw them in. So, we're gonna check it out. Now, at this point, we weren't able to record any reactions, but we definitely had a lot of people kind of staring at us. We were definitely getting a lot of death stares. Uh, I think it had less to do with the fact that we were new there and more to do with that giant backpack on my back. Like I mentioned before, no bags, a lot on the gym floor, no accessories. They didn't tell us to put it away when we got there. They didn't say anything about it. So we just thought we'd maybe push the envelope a little bit and just walk around and see if they'd say anything but uh, yeah i came to this section here very similar to the same section that we saw at the last club um set up the same exact way with the same machines as the last one so you can tell that they try to keep everything uniform now at this point it's definitely time for the obligatory two movements that i have to do just so i don't look weird this staff although they were pretty nice they definitely ran a pretty tight ship they were on it from the beginning uh, they were kind of keeping a close eye on us the entire time and uh, we didn't want 
to give them a reason to have to come and kick us out or anything like that. So this is our version of Act Natural. So we have this station set up that basically uh, every gym has, every gym I've been in has at least one of these. We're gonna get some lat pull downs. It goes up to about 260, which is pretty solid. Um, that's about like the max weight on most of these machines. Their dumbbells were in fact not heavier. Now, in my fourth smooth brain moment of the day, I decided to go up to 200 on the lat pull down and not stretch my hamstrings at all. And I uh, felt some kind of pinch on this rep. I mean, look, for what it's worth, I am eight weeks out from a bodybuilding competition. And for those of you who know how that goes, you know that prep brain is uh, in full effect right now. had me hurt I didn't stretch <laughs> I'm about to say my man made that shit look mad easy no but I kind of felt that on my hamstring that's why you gotta stretch now at this point I had my boy Adam go get a couple shots of the signage that they had which is pretty consistent with the last club. I forgot to mention at the last club there was no judgment free zone anywhere on the wall which was kind of surprising. Now what you're seeing here is us walking back to the locker room because the person who appeared to be what I think is the assistant manager came up to us and let us know we have to put our bag back. I did go back and look at their policies page on their website and it does say that bags that are specifically not in use. Uh, cannot be on the gym floor. I don't know exactly what they mean by not in use. Um, that's something that I would need a little more clarification on. I feel like if I have my accessories in there that I will be using, to me, that's in use. But essentially, the reasoning behind this is the bags would present a safety hazard. I guess maybe somebody tripping and falling over a bag. So I guess. Now, I do have to note that the assistant manager was actually very nice in explaining that to us. Uh, no hostility or anything like that. So 10 out of 10. Um, so the dumbbells only go up to about 75 pounds, which kind of makes sense. The last one went up to about 75. I know their dumbbells don't go up that heavy unless it's like a black club. So um, 75s are basically a warm up for me in every movement. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hit these 75s. At this point, Adam informs me that the assistant manager and another person at the front desk are uh, kind of staring at us and talking. So I asked him to see if he can get a quick shot. So right above the dumbbell rack, you will see the infamous lunk alarm. In its glory, in its beautiful glory, it's amazing. It's everything I imagined and more, but we're not gonna set that off today. That's for another video. Okay, so that's a wrap on the very quick, very abbreviated Planet Fitness experiment. Uh, we didn't aim to like start any shit or get kicked out really. We just wanted to come in and see if they put us in in kind of our, our natural state with our gym bags and things like that. This Planet Fitness specifically wouldn't say the best gym in Massachusetts. That's very subjective, not in my opinion. But it's definitely clean, definitely very, very nice. The aesthetics are on point. Um, it was definitely somewhat of a bit of a different environment than the last one where I did see a little more sweating going on. Um, in terms of workouts, there's just not a lot that I can do there weight-wise. Um, yeah, I would need a little more variety in my workouts. Um, so a lot more basic. I would say this one is a little more fitness enthusiast friendly than the last one, um, but that's also somewhat subjective. So what were your impressions? So my impression is, I feel like, because the last time I've been to Planet Fitness was probably like five, six years ago, like when I first started working out, I felt like they had more variety back then, to be honest. Okay. Um, and I felt like the weight went a little bit heavier. Like, what was the heaviest we saw? Like, 60 pound easy curl bars? Yeah, 60. I, I feel like there was like 80s back in the day. So okay. Like more variety of like weight in terms of dumbbells. Mm -hmm. For me personally, I'm, I wouldn't be able to work out there. Um, 
Right, but I can definitely see it be see it being a pretty good place for a first timer to go. No, absolutely. Especially this one, yeah. Absolutely, but then at some point you are gonna plateau. Right. Of, especially depending on your goals, of course. Right, definitely. But yeah, I mean, in terms of like getting like a good workout, definitely possible. Um, just if you're like experienced, like intermediate, so like experienced. Um, it's definitely not like the go-to gym right 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 especially like for powerlifters like me and Dan right like we squat bench deadlift we would not be able to do that here right yeah ex exactly no free bars or anything no like free that bars just no, no nothing that's definitely oh, no, no accessories no accessories yeah that's a big one that's a really really big one yeah. no knee sleeves no belt no yep. straps all essentials all essentials in powerlifting like even bodybuilding too if you're willing to go yeah. like, heavier absolutely I'm not saying you need that stuff like, obviously you could do it just completely raw but in terms of like actual prep that's a big deterrent right yeah, there so just big. right there no no free bar no plates and you can't bring your gym bag which has all your accessories on it that's right right there that's enough to just not train there exactly and like even like on the back end of this video um i'm not sure if i got it on camera or not but like the manager and like one of the workers they were just they like were eyeing, eyeing us bro eyeing us especially because i was like recording you yeah it wasn't even the big camera either it was like no it was just my phone camera. And nowadays, phones are becoming a lot more common in the gym area. Mm -hmm. Didn't see anybody there recording. I do see some people recording at Planet, but like, yeah. yo, they, they, we were there for like maybe five minutes and yeah. already we were getting some stares, not yeah. just from the staff, but Absolutely. from, I don't know if it's because we're that big, but I, I don't know. <laughs> not, not me, maybe you. We, we, we had hoodies on. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I feel like maybe we, we gave off lunk vibes low key. Yo, for real. <laughs> Especially with the bag. <laughs> That's probably what it was. The big ass gym bag. The big ass gym bag. Man's was like. Because no, no beginners bring a gym like a bag like that nah, to the gym. Nah. Yeah, that, that fucking worker was like. He was like, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> the man was like, you can't have this out here. So I came back with, uh, I came back with, just my belt, my wrist wraps, and I, I, I don't know if he was gonna say something, but they were still looking at us they like were still this motherfucker. Yeah. So. I just, know, I just think he didn't want to come by and say twice. Say twice, like yeah. Thing. So yeah, but he was very nice. He was very polite, mm -hmm. you know, doing his job. Yeah. And yeah, de definitely very, you know, nothing, yeah. nothing against that at all. And it's, this one had two floors specifically. This one did have two floors. A lot bigger. Mm -hmm. Again, really nice in terms of the aesthetics. Like the locker room was dope as hell. Yeah. But you know, stuff like that isn't really enough to get mm -hmm. somebody who's really a gym enthusiast. Yeah. Who has goals that are specific to us to really consistently train that? I mean, no bag. That's enough for me to just be like, nah, I'm all set. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'd be walking around. With my I can't bag, walk around with my yeah, my accessories. Exactly. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff. So, yeah. all in all, Planet Fitness experience went pretty well. Um, didn't try to set the lunk alarm off or anything yeah. like that, or didn't really try to get a good workout in. It was just more about seeing what they had, exper experiencing it. Mm -hmm. But uh, next video is definitely going to be a little oh, more we gonna involved. Push it. We gonna We're going to push it, push the envelope a little bit next video. So that's going to be fire. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. As you can see, the gyms are super clean and the staff is super friendly, but they do have some policies that would make it pretty difficult for somebody who uses accessories to be able to maximize their workout. And a pretty obvious deterrent for me at least is the lack of bars and plates and the limited weight range for dumbbells. The term heavy is relative. What's heavy for me may not be heavy for you and vice versa. So even though I can get a pretty good workout with the weight that they have available, I'd have to get pretty creative to be able to maximize my workout with those weights. But after a certain point of getting creative, I'd probably get bored and also plateau because no matter how many slow eccentrics I'm doing or isometric holds, I'm still working with the same weight. And at that point, I'd rather go somewhere where I can continue to be creative with my workouts while also having the option to allow my muscles to get used to some tension that they're not used to. Not to mention, having free bars and plates available to you I think adds tremendous variety to your workouts, which can only help you in the long run in your fitness journey. In the next video, the gang and I will attempt to get the best workout that we can there while also training as we would at our home gym and see how it goes. If you like this video, consider giving it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know exactly when I drop the part three of this. So, I'm Large Kofi. Thank you for watching.